Hi guys, and welcome to this week's episode of Miss Planet. Before we get started, just want to let you know our flowers have arrived. They are available through our Amazon store. You can go into the description below and click on that link. It'll take you right there to them. Also, there is a link for a free ebook with over a dozen projects using our roses. So excited, so excited about how you guys have responded to them. And we just want to thank you for supporting us. So this week, we have a request from a community member, and her name is Savannah, and she writes, Hi, Miss Planet. Hi, Savannah. I have been watching your videos for a couple of months now because I love to host baby showers, etc. Now that I'm engaged, I, am pro I have probably watched all of your videos several times and started making shopping lists. Savannah, that's some serious binge watching. <laughs> I'm getting married at a ranch very soon, and I'm so excited. I have attached a picture of a centerpiece I have in mind. I would love to see what you could do, come up with. I do not want anything glittery or metallic as I'm going for a more rustic look. The reception is in a barn. Thank you so much for your help, Savannah. Well, Savannah, not only are we going to show you how to create this beautiful, natural baby's breath centerpiece, it's also only cost. $15. Yes, we're going to show you how to re recreate this look for $15. So excited. All right, guys, let's get started. As always, we start with a good foundation. For this one, we're using a block of wet foam, nine inch plastic garden disc, and a nine inch cylinder base. Now, the wet foam is different from my styrofoam. It is specifically created so that you can wet it and attach real natural flowers to it. So our first thing is we're going to go ahead and create our wet foam, I guess, pattern for lack of a better word, so that everything fits nice and secure. As you can see, we use the actual rim of the base to make sure that our base would fit securely in the center of our centerpiece. I'm just using every single bit of this wet foam. It's very pliable. You can't mess it up. Trust me, I have used it many times. You can't mess it up. And once it's all wet, it is ready to go. Now that our foam is in place, we're gonna go ahead and cover the foam with about two and a half cups of water, being sure that your foam is completely wet. You will notice that the water will already start absorbing into the foam, and you wanna to continue to make sure that the foam is completely drenched and that you have probably about a quarter of an inch of water remaining on the bottom of your disc. For the next part, I want you guys to completely trust yourself. You are simply going to start attaching stems of baby's breath, starting closest to the base and working your way out. There's no particular height or length of the stem. It is really to your preference. Now, in this particular part of our video, I'm actually using a seven and a half inch base. I wanted you to see the difference. This is a seven and a half inch base. The base that you see in the pictures is a nine and a half inch base. So you have options. In this particular one, you would have more of the base covered Whereas in the, in the picture of, the, um, of our finished product, that is a nine and a half inch base and you see more of the base. I just wanted you to know that you have options. Remember, we give you the plan, you make it your own. The next thing is a secret little decorator's tip. You know when you see those candles, you're like, how do they get them to stay in place? Let me tell you how. It's called stick -em. It's a candle adhesive and it works just like glue, but it's for candles. And you just apply it to the bottom of your candle and stick it exactly where you want it. And trust me, it is not going anywhere. Well, Savannah, what do you think? It is frankly amazing what you can do with a few Dollar Tree products and some baby's breath purchased from the grocery store. I wanna let you know that you can get the baby's breath even less expensive than the grocery store by going to a wholesaler that sells to the public. So check out your local farmer's markets, your wholesalers, and you can also order it from the grocery store at a little bit of a cheaper price. So just keep that in mind. 
I hope you like today's uh, product project rather. I had a blast doing it for you. I love it when I can pass on cost savings tips to you guys. So please use them. Remember, all the links are for the for the supplies are in the description below. If you like this video, by all means like us, subscribe so you can be the first to know when our videos are posted every single week by picking that little bell right there in the corner, you'll get an extra special notification. You can also follow us on our other social media platforms and they are Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. And if you have not already signed up for your Rakuten rebate account, what are you waiting for? It was formerly known as Ebates. It's super simple. Head down to the description, click on the, e uh, the re Rakuten link, sign up for your account. It is absolutely free. When you're ready to shop, sign on to your account, find your qualified vendors, and receive a check at the end of the month for your shopping efforts. Also, in addition to that, don't forget to check out our MissPlanetShop.com. We have fantastic digital downloadable DIY planning books just for you. If you're planning your own DIY wedding, if you're planning your own DIY party, if you're planning to have a maid of honor and you want her to help you with your wedding, we have so many options there for you. Check it out. It's there to help you to be organized and you to create the DIY wedding or party of your dreams. Well guys, our time has quickly come to an end. Just a couple of reminders. Don't forget the links to the supplies as well as the project cost are in the description right below this video. Just click on that upside down triangle or arrow, however you see it, and you will find all the information there at your fingertips. You don't have to wonder where we got the supplies. We give you the links. Also check out our website, MissPlanet.com for additional projects as well as the written and picked picture instructions and we have so many things there we have a free resource library we have blog posts just passing on tips and savings to you all the things that we cannot squeeze into our weekly video tutorials we want to thank you all so much for hanging out with us we know you have so many options and we appreciate you choosing to spend your time with us we just want to make sure that everybody stays safe during this time and until next week always remember when every penny counts, count on this planet. Take care of yourself. See you soon. God bless.